Hi, welcome for our RTL online trainings. Today I'm going to show you one important question in the interviews they'll be asking related for human capital management. It's not only for human capital management, even in financials or supply chain management. We know that uh, roles are going to play a very important role in fusion applications because this entire uh, fusion applications product is RBAC product. RBAC stands for Role-Based Access Control. Role-Based Access Control. Okay. In financials or supply chain management or human capital management, we will find different roles. Okay. Mainly, we know that there are four different types of roles. Abstract role, job role, duty role, and data roles. And of course, we have some privileges which we will be using to provide the access to the application also. Okay. What Oracle has given us, if you want to create a new role, yes, you can go for create a new role. If you want to go for uh, modify the existing role, yes, you can go for modify the role also. From where we will perform the roles uh, activity, we will go for uh, tools menu and we will go for security console. What is the role required? IT security manager. If we have the access to IT security manager, then we will be able to then we will be able to perform the roles related actions let me cross check it sim server is down trying to log in with this user no it sim server is down for some time go to tools menu security console in the security console environment we'll be working with the uh, role management. Here we can find different categories like job role, duty role, abstract and other roles. Now the question is here in the interviews they'll ask you, I'll give you one role name. How will you find out whether that role is a built-in role or whether it is a custom role, built-in role or predefined role or standard or seeded role. These all are general words we'll be using for Oracle standard roles. Okay, if it is a new role created as per the client requirement, we call it as a custom. Role. So what is meant by custom role? Custom role is nothing but a new role, which we will be creating according to our client's requirement, where we are going to group some sub roles as well as the privileges. Then what is seeded role? Seeded role is nothing but a role which is provided by Oracle as per Oracle standard functionality. Oracle thought that, okay, global HR model, these roles are required. Payroll module, these roles are required. Account payables, these roles are required. Like that, Oracle will provide some standard roles, five to six roles for every module, depends on the requirement. But of course, we will be customizing those roles according to our requirement and we'll try to create a new role. So if I'm going to search here, the role name, let's say human resource analyst. Or let's go for human resource analyst. So I'm searching for the role called human resource specialist. So how to find whether this role is a predefined role or not, whether this role is predefined role or not, or built-in role or not. So let's go for search the role. Once we search the role, we will find here role name and role code and role description. Description in the sense that exactly what this role contains. This is the role name. And this is the role code. End of the role code, you will come to know the category of the role. There itself, you can find out whether it is a job role or duty role. Okay, we can easily identify from here itself. And now it is a job role. Okay, when we uh, when we try to edit the role, okay, when we whenever we try to edit the role, see, we can find here uh, the role, predefined role or not. This, if you go for edit, it will not allow you to go for it, right? See, you cannot go for enable this checkbox because this is a predefined role. The role is predefined role. This, this role is a predefined role. Okay. So whenever you try to create a new role, for example, whenever we try to create a new role, let's say I'm going to provide here RTL human resource specialist. This. And I'm using this for human capital management job roles. Then we will be able to perform this. See, predefined role is not allowing. 
because cannot go for enable this checkbox. If the checkbox is enabled, then that is a predefined role. When you try to create new role, it will not allow you. Okay. So the question is here, how will you find the role is a predefined role or not? If it is a predefined role, there is a checkbox that will be enabled by the system automatically. Whenever we try to edit or customize the role, then there is no chance that we can enable this checkbox. Okay. So that's the question they'll expect from us. Thank you.